What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 80, if I can get to it, 8 of Fusion. All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to make our pumpkin. We're going to do a couple things. This is truly what my workflow is going to look like. I'm going to kind of make edits as I need to go to, as I go along. And so this video is going to go a little fast, but you're going to see my true workflow on how I built this pumpkin. It's going to be a little different, not as clean as my usual videos are, just because there's so many parts, something's probably going to go wrong at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sketch, and I'm going to draw a, a three-point arc. And I found out that if for my pumpkin profile, if I do three three-point arcs, it looks pretty close to a pumpkin profile. You could do a spline and take some more time with it. However, I've just found out that I'm just not interested in using that much time to, to draw something. Okay, I'm going to move these around just a little bit. That looks a little bit... Actually, let's try this. Edit that just a little bit more. And bring this up just a little bit. Hey, where'd you go? There we go. That looks about right. I'm going to do one more edit. That looks okay. There we go. Got my pumpkin profile overall. Draw a line all the way through. It is an enclosed profile, so that tells me none of my lines are detached. Everything is full and complete. So I'm going to do an offset now of this for about half an inch, because I want my pumpkin thickness to be about half an inch. And I'm going to go ahead and trim up just a little bit and include a platform for my candle to sit on, including also my candle. And then I'm going to create a little bit of a spline for my flame here. All right. Go ahead and hit green check mark, hit for sketch. And we're going to build this thing, honestly, from the inside out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to revolve these two profiles for the candle and for the flame as their own separate thing, full 360 as a new component, click OK. Gonna drop down my sketches, make that sketch active again, because I'm gonna need it again, um, but this component right here, actually let's make that sketch inactive. Let's go ahead and take our candle. I'm gonna hit A for appearance, and I'm gonna choose, let's see, a white color for the bottom part. And then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, click on just this top piece right here, find a brass, polished, just for that top piece right there. I went ahead and made my candle just because I just find that the candle tends to be so annoying to make while it's inside the pumpkin. You could do section views. But now since my candle's made, I can just go over here Let's try this. Rename this. Oh, there we go. Right. Let's try this now. There we go, candle. Alrighty. Now, since that component's made and done, we don't need any more. Now I can just say, you know what? We're done with you. Okay. Now let's revolve our section of the pumpkin that the candle is going to sit on around the center axis. Now I'm not going to do a full 360. Instead, I'm going to do 36 degrees. We're going to then make some edits to this section and then revolve it again. Um, what that will do is it'll create a little bit more of an organic shape for me. So I'm going to fill it one side of this. Some distance. That was 0.2 inches. I'm going to fill it the other side a different radius other than 0.2. And what that does is it kind of creates a little bit of an organic shape when you're when you're looking at the pumpkin. We're trying not to go for too symmetrical because if you get too symmetrical, then pumpkin doesn't really look like a pumpkin. It kind of just looks like a basketball. All right, so we've got our section of pumpkin. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on pattern, circular pattern of this piece around the center axis. And so what that does for me is it takes that one piece we made and it makes 10 sections. The reason we did 10, since we did 36 degrees to begin with, we revolve that around 10 times, there's your full 360. 
The bottom should be filled in. The top, however, can be open and that's all right. When we're just going over our bodies, make them invisible. We're done with this sketch for now, so I'm gonna make my sketches invisible. And I want to start on a new plane. So I'm gonna click on offset plane, bring my bodies back in. That way I can find a plane that is an appropriate distance away to start my stem. Okay, now I click OK. Where, oh, there's my candle, candle's still there. Candle go away. All right, we're gonna start a sketch on this plane and this is where we're gonna start our stem at. So I'm gonna click on polygon and let's do a polygon. I'm gonna start a little bit smaller than the hole and we're gonna taper outwards to kind of meet those parts. And I'm also going to draw a circle over here. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take this stem, do a taper outwards to match the pumpkin body. Then we're gonna take this polygon and wrap it all the way around and have a lofted profile to connect the two. But I am gonna make some quick edits first. Let's actually go in. Let's take this polygon, let's put it away, because I actually want to make a better polygon. Let's do a polygon, still do a small, but instead of six, let's do like a 12-sided polygon. Hit finish sketch. My sketch disappeared, and that's because all my sketches are gone. Let's drop down. I need to make it one more edit, because I did undo that circle. Hit Control Z. And for this, let's actually make it a little bit smaller. Okay, there we go. So now let's click extrude. We're gonna extrude this. We're gonna go downwards. We're gonna go taper outwards. Let's do like 25 degrees. I didn't mean to hit enter. I meant to hit join. And what this will do for me is it'll take all of those sections of pumpkin which were separate bodies and now it'll make it one body. Okay looks joined looks good now we're done we've got now if i go on my bodies we have one body for our pumpkin that is un or not put as a component yet and that's what we're shooting for if you didn't do this quite right and you made i had like 20 bodies there that means that you have 20 different sections or 10 different sections of your pumpkin and that's just not what we want we want to make sure it's one body before we move on okay now let's go back to my origin planes and let's make go ahead and make the bodies invisible and I'm going to create a sketch on this front plane right here and what I'm going to do then is then take a spline that'll connect our polygon to our circle. Things are looking good. Let's bring our bodies back in. Let's now hit create, let's do loft. This profile to our circle over here. And we're gonna click on center line guide type along that center line right there. And that creates a pretty good stem for us. We're gonna click okay. All right, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna carve our pumpkin and hopefully do a couple of the small edits and then we're gonna be done. All right, let's try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and take my bodies and make that disappear because I will need to create a new sketch for my pumpkin face, what we're gonna carve out. So we're gonna go to this front plane right here, right click, offset plane, pull it forward, make our bodies visible again, and start a plane where it's an appropriate distance away so I can then start a sketch on the face. You can draw whatever you want for your pumpkin. I'm gonna do some goofy eyes. Let's do one big eye. Let's do a smaller eye, kind of offset. Let's do a nose, the classic triangle nose. And then for our face, I'm gonna do a spline. Just cause spline creates that little bit of a goofy look. When we put it all together. Okay. And there we go. We're gonna extrude this now. Whatever profiles we need to extrude. 
as a remove or a cut away. We don't want to go too far though. So if you see if I go too far, I start to cut into the platform for my candle. And we've officially carved our pumpkin. Is our candle still good on the inside? Still looks good. All right. Okay, now how do I take my pumpkin and make it to have a top and a bottom? How do I take this one body we have and split it into two bodies? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm, I'm gonna take plane, so we'll do offset plane, and we're gonna put it about where we want to cut the top of our body in half to do the top of the pumpkin and the bottom of the pumpkin, and that looks about good. Okay. So what we do, we go to construct, or sorry, we go to modify, we go to split body, we're gonna split this body on, oh, well, let me select that plane. So let's go to my construction, go to plane three, oh, splitting tools, plane three, and what that'll do for me is it'll take my pumpkin and split it in that plane. Click OK. And we're already there. We're almost there, folks. We're almost done. This is so great. All right. So I've got body 11, which is my top. And i got body 1, which is my bottom. So you can go ahead. I'm going to take this and create a component from this body. So I'm going to double click that. We'll call it the bottom of the pumpkin. And then we got this body right here, right click, create component, and we'll call that the top. All right. Like any good assembly, you need there to be something that's grounded. So I'm gonna take my bottom, right click, and click ground. And then for my top piece right here, we need to put in a joint. So we're going to do a joint. We're going to say the center of my pumpkin here to the center of my pumpkin here. You could do a slider constraint. You could do a rigid, revolute, slider. But I found if you do a cylindrical, and then we go to our, sorry, let's do pin slot. We can then select our axis of rotation. So I'm going to do it amongst the Z axis. Let's hit play. Let's do the Y axis. There we go. And slide in the X axis. Nope. Z axis. There we go. Then I can have my lid kind of come off as expected. Go ahead and click OK. So I should be able to remove my lid and kind of tilt it. But we don't want it to, we want to work in the bounds of what we'd expect. So I'm going to right click on this, edit joint limits. The rotation will say minimum zero, maximum will say 90 degrees. And then for the slide constraint, we'll say minimum of zero, maximum of let's say three inches. Click OK. Now what will happen is it'll, it can still kind of move through and not really do as expected. So what I'm going to do is there, so I'm now going to take, and I'm going to, for a symbol, I'm going to enable all contact sets, meaning anything in my design so far can't move through other pieces that are there. So my top, regardless if I don't set it on perfectly or not, will not go through the pumpkin. Regardless if I try to, I'm trying to put it in a weird angle. See, it won't go through kind of just sits in as expected. All right, well, there we go, folks. We've made a pumpkin. We've got our candle on the inside. The only thing I need to do now is to add my color. So we'll see if we can do this all in one get-go. So I'm gonna go to my highlight everything. I'm gonna hold down Control. I'm gonna deselect these faces because I don't want my stem to be included. You know what? Actually, let's try something out. I haven't done this in a while. If you 
drag up rather than drag down, it will select any of the parts that are partially in this box. Ah, it won't work. Oh, almost. There we go. If you drag down, it will select all the pieces. I'll show that again. So if you drag down, so notice how this box is a solid with an orange rather than if I drag up, it's a dotted with yellow. So if we drag down, it'll select any of the parts that are fully within that box become selected. If we drag up with the yellow, any of the parts that are partially in there become selected. But what I don't want is I didn't want to choose my stem because I want that to be green. So I'm gonna highlight that, hit A, Appearance tab pops up, and I found if I type in KA for Captain. Oh, let's cancel that. I don't want my, I need my candle. Get my candle out of there. Captain, pull that in. Captain does a pretty good job of selecting that orange color. I think it looks great. Try to highlight these pieces again. Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. We'll see what that does. Oh, man, too much. Alrighty. So we're going to try this now. If this doesn't work, I'm going to call this video done here. I do have a little bit, if I'm going to be honest, a little bit of a hard time when it comes to trying to get the material faces to look the way I want them to. I think I need to update my Autodesk, but we'll try this out. If we select these faces right here, and let's go for a plastic matte green. Nope, see I don't want everything. It wants to do everything. Let's try that one more time. If not, we're gonna call the video done here. We'll do green. I want to select, let's try it up. There we go. Hey, hey, there we go. Sometimes I have a hard time with getting those faces selected kind of as expected. But we have everything kind of as expected. This video probably took about, I don't know, six takes because my computer kept crashing and AutoDesk wasn't working. But we finally got it all in one take where everything is nice and smooth. We got our candle on the inside. Let's go and take our origin files. Let's take our part. We can see our candle on the inside. Where did my candle go? Bring it back. See a candle on the inside. Let's take the origin, take joints away, construction away. All I see is my candle, top and bottom. All right. And there you have it, folks. We've made a pumpkin in Fusion using a bunch of complicated commands, uh, but I think the overall product just looks pretty sweet. Hope this video has been helpful. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. If you watched this so far, please like and subscribe and stick around for more content. If you'd love my help, feel free to reach out. I'd love to make a video over something you're requesting. You guys are awesome. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.